A lot of the damage from those storms is in Greenwich, where trees are down on wires. Tough situation got even worse this morning. CLMP says a tree fell on a transformer, and right now, about 25,000 customers are still without power in Greenwich. That's about 95% of that town. In Stamford, about 500 homes in the dark, and that is down from several thousand this morning. News 8's Aaron Cox followed the crews working to restore power. Exclusive neighborhoods didn't escape Mother Nature. Residents stunned by the strength of the sudden storm. Wind was the big story. Yeah, the clouds got real, real ugly and uh, almost looked like a, a tornado type clouds, the way the, the color of them and everything. So it was, it, was, it was pretty scary for 15 minutes or so. The 25 mile an hour overnight winds uprooting a tree, severing a gas line, forcing temporary evacuations here along Shore Road. On Gilliam Lane, branches bringing down poles now twisted up in the wires. So the generators are humming. I was driving back after the storm and I started to see all the lines down and the trucks going. I said, I'm definitely going to be without power. But as I drove down the street, I started to hear the generators. At the height of the storm, over 60 roads in town were closed. And this morning, they are still working to clear as many as they can. But this Monday morning commute, a little rougher than usual. Hey, back to work now, unfortunately. Coming in, don't worry. Private crews hired by homeowners to clear driveways. Some branches just missing high-end SUVs parked along the road. Driving along the waterfront, finding these boats had been pushed one on top of the other. But folks here have been through this before, many having endured long outages during Tropical Storm Irene and the October Nor'easter. This is the most affluent zip code I've ever lived in, and I've never lived someplace that loses power so often. These pictures proving that zip code doesn't matter to Mother Nature. In Greenwich, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.